A burning chula, a common scene in millions of homes across the nation and a basic necessity for cooking food. Just to get this wood, we lose hundreds of acres of land or forest every day. In Orissa alone, almost a square kilometer of forest is lost just to obtain this wood for fuel. Not only that, a study shows that between 1974 and 1984, India lost 34% of its forest cover. Tribals are the most affected by deforestation because they have to walk long distances to collect firewood. One study in Orissa found that over a 20 year period from the mid 1960s to the mid 1980s, the average distance that people, mainly women, had to walk to collect firewood increased from 1.7 to 7 kilometers. If the forest cover disappears, I might have to start using coal or dung cakes. But till then, I will use wood for cooking. The requirement of wood as fuel in India is high, mainly because it's so cheap. In Dhenkanal and Orissa, it sells only at rupee 1 a kg. For sure, firewood is the cheapest form of fuel available. But it becomes cumbersome to use when cooking has to be done on a very large scale, especially in big families. For hotels like this, it's just not an option. Then they have to switch over to coal, another natural resource. Today, however, liquefied petroleum gas or LPG has replaced traditional forms of fuel in most households and hotels. It has become so popular because it is easy to use and hassle-free. Many policies and programs have been started by the government to reach LPG to rural areas. A small 5 kg cylinder has been introduced. Also, the area of distribution by a single distributor has been doubled from 15 to 30 kilometers. Mostly there have been it was restricted. Only uh, any distributor was allowed to operate within the municipality area or the NS area or the corporation area. But then local, only local people, the new people from the urban areas, they are getting the villages of it using this LPG. When government thought of going for the other, going and some other are going for the rural areas, then that time, of course, the demand has come from the rural people. Petrol and diesel reserves are being depleted every day, not to mention the pollution they cause. However, unleaded petrol is already being used in many cities. Researchers are also working on vegetable oils as a cost-effective, low-pollution alternative to diesel oils. I don't know what the government is doing about conserving petrol or diesel and pollution control. I at least get pollution check done on my scooter regularly. It's a fact that natural resources are being used every day to obtain more fuel. Besides, over-dependence on such traditional forms of fuel has led to severe problems of environment and health. But what is the solution? Probably solution lies in renewable sources of energy such as from wind, sun or maybe the biomass fuel. Biogas, commonly known as gober gas, is an efficient fuel for domestic purposes, especially cooking. To get this gas, fresh cow dung is first mixed with water. This mixture then passes to the gas chamber.
A pipe links the chamber to the stove in the kitchen. In terms of its use as a fuel, one cubic meter of biogas is equivalent to three and a half kg of wood or one and a half kg of coal. Usually people throw away cow dung, but three years back when the government came up with a plan of using biogas, I decided to take it up because this requires almost no costs. Government gave 50% subsidy for the initial investment. It's better than coal because here there is no pollution and it costs less than LPG. In one day we use almost 60 kg of dung and it can burn the chula for three to four hours. There are many problems in using LPG. It's dangerous and it's becoming costlier every day. Besides, it may not be available at a short notice. But using biogas is in our hands and it works the same way as LPG does. Another cheap and convenient form of fuel is solar energy. Like biogas, it only requires a one-time investment. Government gave subsidy to buy the solar panel. I'm using it for last three years and have not faced any problems. By charging the panel for four hours, the lantern can burn for three and a half hours. The problem in using the alternative sources of fuel lies in extracting the energy from the source and sometimes it is time consuming. The solar cooker is one such example. Cooking food in this takes a lot of time. It takes three hours to cook rice. It can be suitable for small families, but not for big ones like mine. I know this is environmental friendly, but because of the time factor, I cook in LPG and not the solar cooker. reserves in India are going to last for just another 200 years. Same is the situation with various types of fuels all across the globe. Renewable sources of energy do provide something that is cost effective and eco-friendly. Government comes up with various policies from time to time, but the onus lies on us as well. Before you light up your next matchstick, just give it a thought. Use fuel, but conserve it too.